Hey guys, Mitch here from Torrent This, bringing you our weekly movie update. Kicking off with our news, Hugh Jackman has suggested that Tom Hardy would be his ideal choice to replace him when he finally hangs up the claws for Wolverine. With this further cements Tom Hardy's position as being the go-to guy if you need to fill in a franchise after he's already played Max Rokotansky in the Mad Max series. Tom Hardy's also been suggested as a Han Solo replacement, and you really get the feeling that if they were going to do a remake of Titanic at the moment, Tom Hardy would probably be cast as the Iceberg. Now, we here at Torrent This absolutely love Tom Hardy, but we really would have liked Hugh Jackman to be a little bit more creative with his casting choice than the average movie blog. You have to remember that Hugh himself was an absolute unknown when he was first cast as Wolverine, and that's what launched him into the megastar that he is today. The whole reason that the X-Men film franchise is so successful now is because they took a risk on an unknown actor in the first place. So we say, give somebody else that chance. The best superheroes weren't megastars when they were first cast. Christopher Reeve was just a stage actor. Christian Bale had barely been noticed. Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth. My God, there's a lot of Chris's at the moment. Ridley Scott has revealed that the name to his Prometheus sequel is going to be called Aliens Paradise Lost, playing off the very famous poem, and not Prometheus 2, I'm sorry, or Prometheus 2, what, you just, just run to the left a little bit. Why are you still, why are you running forward? Uh, Too late. He says that this movie is going to tie directly to Ripley, but it may take another two or three sequels before they actually get to that part of the continuity of the franchise, which begs the question, why, for the love of God, are you still making Aliens movies? There have currently been eight Aliens movies in the works, and two of them have been good. The last time they made a good movie was 1986. At this rate, by the time they make another good sequel, it might actually be legitimate aliens who have made contact with Earth and are being part of the cast. Jake Gyllenhaal and Benedict Cumberbatch are in talks at the moment to play George Westinghouse and Thomas Edison in a film over the struggles between AC or DC current. I have no actual jokes about that, I just wanted to take a moment to let you all enjoy the idea of Jake Gyllenhaal and Benedict Cumberbatch being on the same screen together at the same time. Maybe they'll kiss. In box office news, it's school holidays at the moment, which does mean that there's a little bit of a mix about what you're going to get at your local theatre. Be careful with that, because if you walk into the wrong cinema by mistake, instead of taking the kids to see Blinky Bill, you might accidentally see the members of NWA bust some caps. I assume that's what happens in that movie, I haven't actually seen it. Jesus, that was an incredibly white thing of me to say. The movie Everest, appropriately enough, is currently sitting at the summit of the local box office, probably because of its promise of showing Jake Gyllenhaal shirtless in the snow. For those looking for a fresh take on the home invasion thriller, go and check out The Gift, written and directed by Joel Edgerton. It has one of the greatest endings that I've seen from any movie this year, and it really couldn't be recommended highly enough. Also, don't forget that The Martian is due out on October 1st, starring Matt Damon, directed by Ridley Scott. I'll be getting along to check that one out, and I'll be getting a review up for you guys on Torrent This. That wraps up our week in movie news. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel down below. Check out torrentthis.tv for all of Australia's geeky news and movie reviews.